Thunder Bay Airport officials are reacting to the federal government's decision to drop vaccine mandates for domestic and outbound international travelers. The changes kick in on Monday, but the local airport president doesn't believe it will have much of an impact on local operations. However, the airport has dealt with issues related to the ongoing runway construction, with some flights being unable to land in Thunder Bay. Basilios Bellos reports. The ongoing construction on the local airport's main runway means planes are forced to take off and land on the secondary runway. Earlier this week, some planes were unable to land there because of weather conditions. The requirements to legally approach are higher in terms of visibility and the cloud ceiling. Officials with Porter confirmed six of their flights have been cancelled or diverted because of the issue. Airport President Ed Schmicke says inconveniences during projects of this size are to be expected. I have seen some flights miss. Whether they would have missed on the primary runway, I don't know. I don't have those details. But we did consult with all the airlines a year in advance to make sure everybody knew. But in the meantime, nobody can control the weather, and we're certainly hoping for drier weather. Meanwhile, the elimination of COVID mandates means that unvaccinated Canadians will be able to board planes if they're traveling domestically or taking an outbound international flight. The Trudeau government originally put the mandates into effect in October of last year, and they will officially end on Monday. Schmidtke believes the impact here will be minimal. I don't think anybody traveling out of Thunder Bay is going to notice any difference with the change of the vaccine mandates. Perhaps for people returning internationally where Canadians with, uh, with, with vaccines will not go through the same level of testing, but I, I think it'll all be business as usual at Thunder Bay Airport. Much like other COVID mandates that have been added or dropped, the public appears to have mixed reactions with the decision. Oh, it's about time. It's been a long time coming. Um, I'm glad they're going to drop them finally. It's, it's a hassle for a lot of people. All kinds of people I know getting COVID, they have to isolate and everything. So I think, yes, that will probably make some people nervous. About it. it allows, makes people feel a little less trapped. I understand the unease of people who are vaccinated, though, and who are worried about it. So I guess it kind of goes both ways. While certain travel mandates will be dropped next week, others will remain in place. This includes masking at airports and on flights, with federal officials stressing these measures have been proven to prevent the spread of COVID-19. Vasilios Bellows, TBT News.